Robert Foley, Lieutenant General, U.S. Army, retired. When I was the Commanding General of the U.S. Army Military District of Washington, I was the host for 109 wreath-laying ceremonies at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery. Six of those ceremonies were with the President of the United States on Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and 103 were with foreign heads of state, ministers of defense, or chiefs of their respective defense forces. In addition, 30 of the ceremonies were with delegations from Eastern European nations and former Soviet socialist republics, many who were coming to America for the first time. Each ceremony began with the national anthems of the United States and the visiting nation, followed by the wreath laying and a bugle playing taps. I concluded the ceremony with a brief presentation on the history of the tomb interments. I'm convinced that the foreign dignitaries came away from their visit with two distinct impressions. First, America's values were ably represented by the tomb sentinels who are on guard 24 hours a day, seven days a week in honor of American citizens who lost their identity while making the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Secondly, the 150 members of the Joint Service Honor Guard create a powerful image of the U.S. Armed Forces with their rifle and fixed bayonet precision drill. One loud crack was heard when the soldiers, Marines, sailors, airmen, and Coast Guardsmen clicked their heels in unison at the command of attention, and one loud slap as they grabbed their rifles at the command of present arms. The highest accolade I heard during my tenure came from the delegate of an Eastern European nation who said to his colleague, as they were departing from the tomb, I think we should stick with these guys. <laughs>